What's up, everybody? Welcome to Series 2 of Nightmares from the Deep. We are back. And we are back with a brand new series. Uh, this is the second in this series of Nightmare from the Deep. This one is The Siren's Call. Now, I'm looking forward to this. Because we got mermaids, mermaids are always good, but more so we got a Kraken right at the beginning taking out that ship. So this is going to be interesting. Now, last time we played this, we played this as a woman from a museum. Um, so I'm not sure if we're going to be playing as the same character or if it's going to be a completely new character this time around, but I'm excited to get into uh, to get into things, so I'm not going to make this intro too, uh, too long, but in case you guys don't know who I am, my name is Jordan, aka The Wizard Lord, I'm a game developer, and it's been, this series has been a game series that I've been wanting to play for a long time, and I finally got around to it by playing the first one, uh, and now, when, when I, when I learned about the first game, I actually didn't realize that there was going to be two more games after this, so, uh, it's great. That means there's way more for me to play. I really enjoyed the first one. The art style and everything from the first game um, just was extremely immersive. And now that we got a second one, I believe this was a couple of years later that this game was made. So it's going to be cool to see if there's any updates. Already I've noticed that the resolution to this game has been upped. So the visuals are going to be a little bit more crisp, so I'm excited uh, for that. But yeah, I'm not going to say too much on that. We're going to just jump straight into it. We're going to see what this one is all about. So, for those who are going to come along and watch, I'm going to suggest you guys go and grab a snack, grab a drink, because you guys can just sit back and just watch as I try to solve these puzzles and make an absolute fool of myself or bore you guys as I as I try to figure out what to do, but miss something, and then you guys are screaming at the screen going, it's right there, it's right there. So, yeah, just sit back and enjoy, then let's just get into this. I'm taking too much time, so let's see. Play, the siren's call. Oh, we see we got the bonus adventure there. Casual mode, expert mode. Wait, what's the difference? There's an additional one. Advanced mode, the hint... The hint skip button recharge at a moderate speed. Uh, we didn't use hints last time. Uh, active zones are not indicated. Interesting. Uh, hidden object puzzles are indicated with sparkles. And not indicated at all. How is this one? Uh, there is a mild misclick penalty in the hidden object puzzles. Oh, that was where it blurred the screen. Our uh, locations with an unavailable... Wait. Locations with an unavailable action are indicated on the map. With an available... Okay. And then this... So basically this turns off everything we have to figure out. <laughs> Well, okay, look, we played the, we played the original, well, the first one, without any kind of hints or anything. Uh, we did have, like, the sparkles showing us where the puzzles were. Um, so I kind of like it like that. I want to keep it like that, just because otherwise it, <laughs> I feel like we'd get stuck even more. And that's not, that's not particularly exciting to watch so we're gonna keep it on advanced but we won't go casual we'll stick in the middle this is what it was last time so we're just gonna to stick to it i think that that's a good kind of sweet spot when i close my eyes at night my last adventure flashes before them oh we are playing i see the caribbean naval museum same where i work as a curator torn apart by a giant pirate galleon oh man that was actually really sick how that crashed through. captain remington back from the dead Seeking revenge. The dwarfish beams guarding the chests that contain the cruel pacts. And the mysterious sea devil himself. 
Davy Jones, the caster of Wait, curses do we get to see what he looks like? Tragedies. I defeated him once, but I fear that was just one of many battles. Did you defeat him though? Did, did you defeat him though? I feel like we didn't defeat him so much as we we helped a person that he was messing with. What is this? Uh, the curator of the museum. Do you want a quick tutorial? Uh, I mean, we already know what to do, but this might have some extra stuff. Sure, whatever. There might be some new things in this. Ah, uh, the cursor... Actually, we might actually learn something that we didn't know. Ah, uh, the cursor will change the magnifying glass when you can have a closer look at something. Oh, okay, right. Um, it actually might help us anyway. Like, if we had the sparkles turned off, so... Ah, uh, but we did know that. Because we'll change to a hand. Uh, when you can interact, we did know that as well. Good evening. I've got an urgent delivery for Miss Black, the museum curator. She has to get it tonight. Wait, is this Bob? Wasn't Bob the delivery guy last time? Um, what is this? You can use the object in the scene to sell. Yep. Stuff gets added to diary. Yep, we know that. Summarize objectives. Be aware of this. Okay, is that the tutorial done? Oh, okay. Yeah, we, were, we we knew all of that. Nothing new. All good. The courier is waiting in the main hall. I'd better pick up the package. Indeed. Hey, look, it's the daughter we saved last time. What was the daughter's name? I can't remember. What is this? The Caribbean Naval Museum reopens. It's been over a year since the mysterious disappearance and miraculous return aboard an ancient galleon of... Wait, did I read that right? And miraculous return aboard an ancient galleon of museum curator Sarah Black. Oh, that's right. Our name's Sarah. Uh, this one-of-a-kind pirate ship is the showcase piece... See, uh, okay, we kept the ship. Is the showcase piece of the new exhibit that coincides with the release of Miss Black's tell, tell or book... The Curious Case of Captain Henry Remington. Miss Blacks. Is that me? So she's not married. Do you think maybe that's her daughter? Maybe her daughter wrote that? Yeah, okay, cool. Because a daughter might be a miss. So we, we have a daughter, wouldn't I be... I mean, maybe I'm not married anymore. Actually, that's a question for, for people. Do you change from being a missus back to a miss if you get divorced? I actually don't know if that, like, how that goes. Anyway, uh, okay, so we got some info, and yeah, we got a package. Anything we can grab? Nope. Oh, we're still in tutorial. Uh, the cursor will change to an arrow when you can move to another location. That I think we could skip. We don't. We don't need the full tutorial. Right, what we got in here? Lock. We need a key. That's just that. Over here. What is this? A little something to remember my last adventure. Oh, we kept the. This has the ships in it, doesn't it? That's the puzzle. So we kept that. Okay, so there's just that. Basically just that. Alright, let's go out. 
Yo, what's up, Bob? You don't have a face. Why do you look so... so weird? Alright, let's chat to Bob. Good evening. Did I wake you up? Yo. I need your help with a package of the utmost importance. I can't get to its contents without a bizarre artifact. Since you have experience with strange Why do you look weird? sea and the legend of Davy Jones. Can you please open the package? I was told that you're the only one who can. Oh really? This is a trap. For starters, I'll have to cut the twine, so I have to get some scissors. Alright. Back. I'm sure I have scissors in my office. Maybe? A curious case of... Okay, so I did write it. Okay, so I guess you go back to being... Unless she was never married. Just had a kid. I guess that's possible. What is this? Ah, key. I'll take that. Oh, look. We got the doubloons and we got the pearl. And we got the... The, the key to that... Um, that voodoo box. It's kind of cool. Okay, so it's like an actual um, proper sequel. Give me that. Let me unlock this to get my scissors. This. Alright, artifact. The legend of David Jones. Hey, you reckon that QR code works? I mean, if anyone wants to test it, there it is. Give it a test. There's also this one. We got our ship some scissors. Captain Naval. Oh, sorry. Caribbean Naval Museum. So, because we don't have the body of Captain Remington, I guess the the ship became that. So, so they noticed that we, we disappeared? I wonder how many days uh, we were gone. Give it out a snip. Snip, snip. Oh, wait a second. Hey, look what you've done. You broke my glass. The artifact is here at your place. She was right. The artifact is here at your place. She was right. All right. Triangle pendant. Let's open Pandora's box. Sure. What, what could possibly go wrong? I feel like that goes there. Uh, this goes here. Actually, no, this probably goes. Uh, yeah. Uh, this one goes up here. Uh, this goes down here. This goes here. And then. This goes around. This goes here, here, here. Bam! Right. Oh, this is like that other puzzle. Okay. Put that there. Uh, that's gonna go down here. So then pull up there. I mean, that's the right spot. This one has to go up here. Let's pull that there. Go like this. Boom. 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 Oh. Lagasaur, easy. 
Oh, mate, we're getting a bunch of puzzles right off the bat. This is cool. All right. Um, she's in the right spot by the looks of it. Her arm's going back. This one is... Oh, okay, we have to do one of these guys. There we go. That's in the right spot too. This one here. And we do a swap. Oh. Wait, that was on the box. I mean, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we have to save a mermaid. Oh, this is the thing that was in the, the intro. We've, don't we blow this? What the fuck? We are fish ninjas. Pirate ninjas. Oh shit. See, I knew old man looked weird. He's a fish man. <laughs> <laughs> Not my treasure I just got just then for like two seconds to hold. They Give it back. The golden octopus. Are you alright? We can't stay here. I'll take you with me. This seems awfully suspicious. You thought I was gonna say fishy, didn't you? So he's a blue fella. What are we doing? We made it out. Thank goodness you're okay. Well, you, you saved no me with your sword, so... My cover anymore. I was sent to retrieve the Golden Octopus. A figurine of monstrous power. But, I failed. After the attack on your museum, it's safe to assume it's back in the hands of Mayor Murray. Which means we're all in great danger. As if Mayor the fish Murray. Coast wasn't enough, we need your help. He's a Murray My man. Calliope, most of all. You'll meet her soon. Wait, what do you say, Calliope? Welcome to King's Mouth. Oh, well, I guess I'll take that. Might need to whack someone. Man, already I can see like there's... Uh, like, this guy is 3D. So they've animated a character. And it's kind of just like... On a transparent background, and that's what's standing here. That's cool. Yeah, the visuals are. I can see it's like uh, a little bit high res. Things look a little bit cleaner. The the mouth movements and stuff are definitely uh, a little bit more refined. What's this? No, come back. Gonna need a valve. Alright. Quick, let's get inside. The mayor's mercenaries are already here. Mayor's mercenaries. Man, look at him go. One thing that would have made that that section look a little bit better uh, would have been just to have like a blob shadow beneath him. Just so you could kinda of, like get, see this like a shadow cast on this. It would have just kind of um, it would have blended him into the environment a little bit better. Because he, he seemed like he was on top of... On top of it, but not part of it. If you know what I mean. Um, okay. I guess we'll follow him. Up to the corridor. What the heck is that? Yo. Quick, help me barricade the windows. Okay. I will pull it from all the way over here. I'm, I'm helping. Now the second one. Aha. Is that what this is? Leverage is our friend. Right, good job. I help. They're waiting for something. Before they storm something. the house. They're waiting? What is this? Is this 
Oh! <laughs> that is not what he looked like from a distance. Stop! Stop that. Alright, anything I could grab? What is this? It's stuck. The house owner must want it protect. Okay, so it's like locked or something. Alright, I'll follow you. The fire, or else we're as good as dead. Oh, that's good. This immediately opened. It's like it sensed fire. Uh, oh, wait. We need the valve. Hey, I see you there. Right? And then we need to go outside and connect the hose. Right? Uh. Alright. Do we grab the hose? Man, we're, we, we are good at this. See, this is why we, we should have gone expert. <laughs> Alright. I became a firefighter. I think. Yeah, look at it go. Ooh. Put out damn fires. Oh, this is very cool. I like this. Uh, you can see the the hose. It's just this part. You can see where it connects to the the picture. So this must be some kind of just like a chain of bones that have, um, I guess, just some some basic physics attached to it. So it makes it like jingle and you know, flop around and stuff. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the updates of the visuals. It's like the the first uh, the first game, um, like it already looked great, but you can see in this one there's like it's almost like the it what it feels like to me is that they've almost like they've the first game did really well and they've got their confidence uh, when coming into this. So like, yes, we're gonna throw in. Uh, we're gonna give you more puzzles. We're gonna go all out with um, some cool kind of visuals and stuff. We're gonna just kind of uh, take it up a notch. Uh, already, I can feel um, they're, they're being a little bit more ambitious, which is great. It's what you want for a sequel. Let's grab that. Oh, hey, mermaid right off the bat. This must be the mysterious Calliope. She's not just a mermaid, but a siren. What? what? How do you know that? <laughs> I failed to retrieve what? the How? golden octopus. That's but I brought a job. her instead. She will help us, my love. Hello, Miss Black. My name is Calliope. I'm terribly sorry for the circumstances of our meeting, but you're the only one who managed to lift Davy Jones' curse before, and we really need your help. Mayor Murray is keeping me here in Kingsmith as a prisoner, which has brought the curse on this town, and it won't be broken until Murray is stripped of my powers that he stole and I return to the sea. The golden fish tokens and the golden octopus are the keys to my freedom. This is interesting. I'm, I'm kind of trying to work out how they did the, the facial animations because we got the blinking. Uh, it looks like they, it's, it's layers. It's not. So when he was like jumping around and stuff, that was like three D animated. But uh, this almost feels like they're using like, I guess like in Photoshop you have the liquify, um filter and stuff like that it feels like they're using like a combination of that with just layers so the eyelids are a layer that they're just kind of toggling on and off so it kind of it appears and disappears there's no motion right it's interesting 
Um, yes, let's take oh, this. No. He's found us. But then you see the mouth? The mouth had to be 3D. So I wonder if that has to do with... Um, because I suppose if you're going to sync up audio, you might have... So you're probably going to have different languages. You probably just make some basic mouth movement shapes. Okay. Anyway, um... Where'd I make her? What are you doing? Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Got fishmen mobsters. It's Mayor Murray and his Praetorians, the most ruthless and vicious soldiers I know. Murray will stop at nothing to get Calliope back. She's the source of his power. They won't stop now that they've found us. He's activated the golden octopus. Oh, he's a shark. Murray is summoning. I think. Looks like a shark. Uh oh. That that ain't good. That's a kraken. She dead. <laughs> Rip. Survivor. Are you dead? He's unconscious. I'd better help him. How do we help him? Give him this. Nope. Oh, here we go. Let's find and use objects. Pump, draw handle, cloth, and checkerboard. Oh, yeah, checkerboard piece. Oh, we, okay, so we need the handle for that. Uh, it's full of acid? Why is it full of acid? <laughs> Just a casual bowl, fish bowl of acid. Alright, um... We have to, like, pump it out or something? Is that what that is? Perfume bottle. Wait, no, the pump makes sense for the perfume bottle. The handle for the drawer. Checkerboard piece. What oh, that's for? Cloth? What's this? Okay, so we need to put a jewel in the crown. Oh, wait. The handle's right there. Oh, okay. So these just like. This goes here. Four fifteen. Uh okay, so we have to get these. Okay, so we need the jewel. And the jewel's in here, no? Jewel's in here. Oh, here we go, pump. First aid kit. So, okay, this is cool. Okay, so each little. Oh, wait, this changed. Tongs. Oh. Man, this is like multi staged find stuff. Checkerboard piece. Okay, so then let's put this over here. Give it a square. What does that do? Clean the cupboard with a cloth. Okay, where's the cloth? Cloth. Yeah, I'm liking this. This is cool. 
Aha, uh -huh. put that there. And then we do a... Bam. Man, look at us go. Okay, so then we go here, use this in here, grab that out. Alright. Um, what is this? So this is a cross. No, so we need to open this to get that, which means we need the, the crystal. What's this? Aha! Gem is here. Then we get the hands for the clock. We put the clock hands here, and it's 4.15. So this goes 4. Oh, wait, short hands. 15. Uh, man, look at this go. This is great. I'm liking these new puzzles. Smelling salts, man. That was that was involved just to get some smelling salts, but that was cool. It's like instead of just finding one thing. Oh, what was that? Wait, what was that? Oh, wait. Ooh. one of eighteen. Silver parrot. Okay. All right, let's wake him up. That damn beast hit me hard. Yeah, you did. You're like a big gash in your stomach. No matter what happens to me, you have to find and open Davy Jones's chest to lift the fish curse. Take my map of Kingsman. It'll help you track down the men. Davy Jones' chest is that gonna be like, Calliope. like the same as that that guy that was guarding that other chest? Alright, we got a map. Oh, bedroom. Okay, so please find some gauze and bandage my wounds. Alright. Okay, so we need a half moon thingy. made ourselves an axe. Very nice. Okay. Oh, does that mean we can, like, chop stuff down? Anything that needs a chopping? Probably not him. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Well, we've reached the half an hour mark. I do want to continue, but this is roughly where we're going to probably end this episode. Uh, so far, this, uh, up, like this, the second one, they're up in their game. There's a lot more, um, already we've got a lot more puzzles. They're a little bit more in depth too, which is very cool. Um, so, so yeah, visually we've got... Uh, improved resolution. Uh, they're using more animation, uh, 3D animation incorporated with the 2D, which is very cool. Um, and we're starting off this this adventure with a freaking kraken as well. Um, so we're we're diving right into this whole Davy Jones things. I'm I'm noticing the the similarities. I, I, I'm not sure. I think this came out in what 20. The first one came out in 2012, so I'm pretty sure this was like a year or two after. So 2013, 2014 is when this came out. Uh, I can't remember when Pirates of the Caribbean came out. I'm pretty sure it was before that. But you can definitely see the influence of Pirates of the Caribbean on this, like the the Kraken, almost like s almost the same design for the for the Kraken. Uh, and stuff. Uh, the the second game uh, is about like more like Davy Jones and uh, kind of these fish fish characters, but 
But if you notice the the first game was about like the skeleton pirates. Now this is like the the fish pirates. So we're kind of getting similarities there as well. I'm noticing, um, which I'm not mad about. Like those, I I see that they're very much inspired by those movies, and I love those movies as well. They're great movies. So I can see um, that they the I can I can see the developers' glee in making this, uh, and their joy uh, comes and heavily ins uh, the inspiration is heavily inspired by those movies, and that's I think a lot of what why they made this game. Um, which is very cool to see. I, lo I love seeing that. Because um, art inspires art. So you're always going to have people uh, creating art that has... That borrows from previous art that comes before it. Uh, it's very rare that you'll see completely unique uh, and brand new art um, that has never been seen before. That is very rare. Um... But I, I think this is a good approach as well, because one, Pirates of the Caribbean did really well. So, making your own spin on that kind of um, story, you know uh, it's something that people want to play or want to watch. Uh, so, it helps to subside that kind of risk, especially in like game development, if, if you're a small studio. Um, trying to get started with your own games you definitely have to you have you have the freedom to make your own games um, that are a little bit niche and in fact uh, I would say that it's probably a good idea to try and go a direction that some like that not many people have gone which I think this kind of style of game uh, I haven't I haven't really played much before this. There's actually a bunch of these sorts of games, but it's it's its own thing. And then adding the whole Pirates of the Caribbean inspiration to the story and stuff. Um, you know that that story was successful, so you know that there's going to be some level of um, potential success with this. So it reduces that risk uh, in that area, making it easier, I think, for uh, you to get funding and support by um, investors and stuff so uh, it's a it's a good direction to go but yeah anyway uh, getting uh, a little bit more in depth into <laughs> more uh, politics I guess and business stuff when it comes to game development um, yeah it's just making me think about stuff uh, but yeah I really I'm really liking the game so far so if you guys are enjoying it as well and you're keen to see where this goes uh, leave a like and all that sort of stuff uh, that really helps me out uh, getting your guys support one adding like leaving a like and stuff will allow me to know whether you guys like this series but it also helps the the video with engagement so more and more people can see that which really helps me out a lot um so if you leave a like thank you guys so much for doing that uh, and also hit the subscribe button that helps me out a, a lot as well so uh, please do hit the subscribe button if you want to see more you'll be notified uh, hit the bell icon all that sort of stuff you know what to do um, and yeah we're gonna come back in the next episode and we're gonna help old man out by uh, bandaging up his wounds and we're going to uh, I'm not sure if the mermaid died or she was just taken she kind of got eaten by a kraken but it's called the Siren's Call, so I don't know if that she's she's not dead. Uh, I guess so. We'll find that out too, hopefully, uh, in the next episode. Um. So, but until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I very much appreciate you guys checking out my channel and uh, watching the videos, and uh, that really helps me out. And I'm gl I'm glad that people are watching these. Um. So yeah. Uh. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.